Welcome to this LMN video on creating a budget. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to create your first budget or create a new budget for those of you who built one before, and also how to open and edit existing budgets. Let's jump right into LMN to see how it works. To get to the budgets page, on the left hand side, you're going to want to make sure you click budget. This will, by default, load your list of budgets. If you've never built a budget before, this list is obviously going to be blank. For those of you that have built budgets before, you're going to see your budgets here in this list, as well as some information about them, like their status, who built them, when they were built, and what the total sales is for each budget. You can use the search button up at the top to search for an existing budget, or you can use the new button over on the right hand side to create a budget. Since many of you will be watching this for the first time, we'll create a brand new budget. The first question it's going to ask you is the name of your budget. I like to call my budget names my company name, then the year, then the type of budget. I'll call my first one realistic. Now some of you may be building a budget for just a certain division, like a mowing budget or a construction budget. Others might end up changing the name from realistic to something like aggressive or conservative because you may end up taking your first budget and then making some spin-offs as well. But I'm going to start with a company budget, so it's all my divisions wrapped up together, and it's going to be a realistic budget, which is going to be what I hope to achieve in the following year. Your budget year should be the year that you're building this budget for. So if it's the end of 2015 and I'm building a 2016 budget for pricing, my budget year should be 2016, not just the current year that it is. Company name is where you're going to want to put your company name in here. Click OK when you're ready to create your first budget. And it's going to create some budget information for you. Now there's a couple of quick steps you need to do here before you get into really building your first. A lot of this information isn't going to be complete yet because you haven't even started. You've got no sales goal, no profit goal, no profit margin. These will come when you're done your budget, but for now they're going to read blank. The budget history is going to show you the owner, that is who created the budget, when they created it, when it was last updated, and who it was last updated by. On the status screen, this is going to tell you whether the budget is, as this one is, under construction, or whether it's finished or been archived, some of the other statuses that we'll get to later. Down here in the properties are some of the fields that you filled out when you first created the budget. Now there's one more step we need to do just to help you along the way. It's not necessary, it's not a mandatory step, but you're gonna see it's gonna be a lot of value to you as you move forward. This is called the work breakdown. What we've done is compile some industry studies to come up with benchmarks. The problem in landscaping is that there are different benchmarks for the different types of work you do. The benchmarks for productivity and spending on things like labor and especially materials are going to be really different for a company that does landscape install or construction versus a company that does a lot of landscape maintenance. Construction is going to have less labor and more materials. A maintenance company is going to traditionally spend a lot more on labor but have a lot less materials. So the numbers really can throw you off depending on what type of company you are. So to help give you realistic industry benchmarks, LMN needs to know what kind of work you do and it's broken down into these four categories. What percent of your sales comes from design, build, or install work? What percent of your sales comes from grounds maintenance work, from irrigation work, and for those of you who do snow and ice, snow and ice services. So for example, if last year I spent, or I got about 60% of my revenue from design, build, construction, 30% from maintenance, and 10% from snow and ice, that's what I'm going to put in here. This is the percent of your revenue that you generate from each one of these types of work. Now the bottom number here should add up to 100%. So double check it when you're putting in your numbers to make sure you add up to a nice even 100. Once you get these ratios set, as you build through the different budgets, it's going to put it together suggested ratios for you. That said, once I put these numbers in here, when I get to my labor budget, it's going to suggest for me that most companies in the industry with a similar mix of work are going to spend this percent of sales on labor. 
that information is going to go a long way to help you build an accurate budget. You'll see based on industry averages how productive your staff are and whether you have too much or too little hours to generate the sales that you're generating. And it'll also help you get more profitable when you can see what areas of your company you're way over the industry averages on and then trim down on those things or correct those problems so that you can fix your bottom line. Once you've got these in place, you can hit save and then you're ready to move on to the next step, which is our sales budget. We'll cover that in the next video.